So here is here is the story where we will be hearing how a couple of Mr. Muslims turn up the prayer which Muhammad was leading, and then they haven't done their voodoo, and then Satan took over Muhammad. So let's um, let's read it, beloved. So uh, this is narrated to us by Ishaq ibn Yusuf from Sharik, from Abdul Malik ibn Umair, from Abi Rauh al Kalai. He said, The Messenger of Allah prayed, leading us. He recited Surah Al Rum and confused some of it. So he said, Indeed, Shaitan confused our reading because of some people who came to prayer without wudu. So if you come to prayer, do wudu well. Okay. So Muhammad is the one who is leading the prayer. So he's reciting Quranic chapter and then suddenly he gets confused. I don't know how he knew they didn't uh, do wudu, but apparently they didn't. And so Satan, instead of attacking them, he attacked the best of creation, the one whom Allah should be protecting at all times. Whom's supposed to be the walking Quran is simply yeah. deceived by Satan. Shouldn't Satan have attacked the ones that didn't do wudu? Why is he attacking someone who is perfect wudu, the prophet of Allah? Is he that weak that anyone walking in and without wudu can allow Satan to, to attack the leader? Not a leader in this occasion is the prophet of Allah. <laughs> Like Allah is not powerful enough to protect him at all times? Uh, it seems he failed in many other occasions as well as in this occasion. Hmm. So is this wudu water like magic water that's more powerful than Allah to protect? Wudu, wudu water is so powerful, sister. Okay, um, so story tells us Satan is confusing the prophet of Allah because as he does as he leads the prayer because there are certain muslims in the congregation in the prayer group they haven't done they they didn't do their voodoo well it makes i was saying it makes zero sense don't insult zero so can you imagine sister and the people listening if muhammad is that open to the devil confusing about him about the word of allah itself by the way, Muslims think that when they recite the word of Allah, the Quran, it protects them from the devil. Muhammad was stood there in prayer, reciting the word of Allah, because some people around him hadn't washed their skin in the right way. <laughs> the, during wudu, Satan just open house for Satan to come and do whatever he wants in his mind, confused his mind, make him say, made him say Quran wrong. So my question is, sister, how many other times? Did Satan come and confuse Muhammad when he was uh, reciting the Quran? And how many times did Muslims listen to that confused Quran and transmit it on as the Quran when actually it was the word of Satan? Yes, you got the devil so close to your prophet, to your messenger that inspires him to say things to the Muslims. And Muhammad himself here has admitted that this has happened. His urine, as some of our wise men says, is the water of paradise. They can't be that wise. Reason to not go to paradise. So that you don't drink his urine. <laughs> Did you see, see that? It says his noble hair is from the vegetation of paradise. Yeah. But, his saliva yeah. is from the honey of paradise. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and his urine is the water of paradise. Wow. Yeah. This is just like so like wrong. in every, It's like... Too much shirk here. But anyway, that's not what we are focusing. How come the Prophet of Allah is not being able to protect it from Satan as he recites the Quran? And even like in this occasion, is leading the prayer. Satan is confusing him because some people didn't do their voodoo well. And how, how weak is Allah's protection that it gets broken by someone water. not doing water properly? Yeah. <laughs> Like, can't he protect his people who believe in him and who love him? Like, if he if he did if he do the wudu wrong, they get confused or forget or something. That's it. Protection broken. Satan can go in and mess up his ayahs, his verses. Yeah. Be kind enough and then summarize for us and then also remind the Muslims the questions we were asking. Yes. So we looked at a hadith 
talking about a time when Muhammad was with his companions reciting the Quran, leading the prayer. All of a sudden, Satan came and confused him when he was reciting the Quran, Surah number 30. And Muhammad then blamed Satan, said, this happened because some of you came without a proper wudu. If you do wudu, do it well. And we ask questions. Number one, why is Satan always hanging around your prophet? Two, couldn't Allah have protected him from Satan? Three, was it something as simple as other people in his congregation, not even him? not washing well was enough for satan to attack where is allah's protection around his prophet and how could it be that he confused some of allah's own words in the mind of his own prophet to cause them to come out wrong how can that be uh, we talked about the constant presence of satan in muhammad's life we talked about sahih hadith sister where he was talking about aisha's satan <coughs> and his own satan that he has he admits he admits he has we talked about surah 22 verse 52 where he admits that satan inspires words of the quran and then allah comes and abrogates them meaning he replaces them it's just a mess sister of this man that satan was around allah didn't protect him from the satan we know he was bewitched in his life people did magic spells on him where demonic attacks basically and Allah didn't protect him. And we ask, why are you following this demonized prophet? He was not a prophet at all. Whereas the Lord Jesus Christ had authority over demons. And he even gave his own disciples authority over demons by his name. That was how powerful his name was, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We find many of these stories in the, in the gospel. This is the one that you, you, you should follow. One who has power, real power, divine power over demons not this other one that pretended to be from God, but really had no power and was under the influence of de demons, even when he was reciting his own Allah's words.